Hey everybody, welcome back to Dolly Conversation hello. with me, Rick. And me, Nain. And this young man, who's really not that young from what he's telling to tell us, <laughs> this <Wow>. is <laughs> David, David Amicucci. Amicucci. Yes. Hey. You have way too much fun saying that name. I, I do. There's something wrong with you. Look at even I your do. face is red, <laughs> your little flush. <laughs> so, I'm a coochie. Yes. You well, are? Well. I am too. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Hey, where, hey. where did that name it's come great. from? What is, that, what is that name? Because it's not a normal name. It's normal. <laughs> it's normal where I come from. <laughs> well, <laughs> I know a lot of people that if have I say it. That, it's if it's I say it. that name in certain places, I'm going to get a lot of mean stares. Yeah. Absolutely. So uh, it's uh, it's Italian. It's Italian. Yes, yes. I'm uh, uh, American-born Italian. Come from Who, a long family. Did your big family's immigrate? Or your, your, your parents? Or yeah, your... actually my grandparents. Okay. My grandparents did. So no, that then creates another question because you're Italian. Yeah. You're teaching Kaiju Kempo. Yes. From a gentleman that we know very well as far as his name and legend, mm. Tony Ramos, who is Filipino. And you're like that Italian cook in a Chinese restaurant <laughs> in America. <laughs> so, 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 he says this now. There is something wrong in Denmark. <laughs> so... Let's get to that. Okay. Yeah, this, how did, how did, this, how did that come about? So this is already interesting right off the bat. Right, right. So uh, <laughs> where, what level? What? Okay, know. so where are you from originally? I'm from Schenectady, New York. Schenectady. Schenectady, New York. Yes, it's what? upstate. It's famous. What it's famous for is it used to be where the General Electric main plant was. Uh. So they called it the Electric City. And uh, uh, a lot, of, a lot of my friends, you know, and growing up, they're like, "Oh, I'm from Albany," you know, or, uh, you know because <laughs> because they're afraid from? to say it's Schenectady. I'm proud of it. My sister, my sister Loretta, she she called me up because I said, "Hey, everybody, you know, thanks for you know, we do like some online pop up sales for our, right. our swag." Okay. And she goes, "You didn't say Schenectady." Oh my gosh, she killed so me. So now they're paying attention to you. Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. Say it, he's say it. Yeah. So I'm from upstate. <laughs> yeah. Upstate New York. Um, Not and near Catskills. Actually, yes. I I saw Mike Tyson fight when he was a kid. Really? Oh yeah. Yeah. And uh, a buddy of mine um, you was like a how boxer. I that in. Yeah. 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 Nice. That yeah. Was nice. Yeah. A buddy of mine was a boxer, and yeah. uh, uh, we were. I was at one of his fights, and there's this guy who was a. You could tell he was a kid, but not. Nah, he looked like an no, adult, no, right? Yeah, 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 <laughs> but he was like probably like 16 at the time. Right. Yeah. yeah. But he had his jacket on with all of his patches for the Olympics, Junior Olympics. Right. Yeah. So uh, from upstate New York, um, come from a large uh, Italian family. Uh, how, many, how many siblings? I have. Um, there were seven of us. Wow. Yes. That's large. Yeah, yes. he comes from 11, so. Oh, my gosh, yeah, right? <laughs> so, right? right? He was like, what? You're like the Brady Bunch. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. And, it, and it's saying, that's, yeah. you know, that's good. That's those Catholic families, right? <laughs> you go. Absolutely. Yeah, back when cable didn't exist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? So, so uh, yeah. So, let, let me ask you this, because you, you said boxing and cat skills and all that. Yes. Yeah. Um, and you had a friend that box. Yes. You didn't box. You did something else. I did. And what was that? It was uh, a martial art called. Uh, well, I, I started out grappling. Right? There, that's what I'm yeah. thinking about. Okay. Like, yeah. So I I started out with uh, like intramural grappling. They started a, a lot of big time grapplers came from our area, yeah. but uh, my gym teacher in in I went to St. Helens School, a private school. And, oh, and, private yes. school. Yes. Oh, no, no, okay. no, not like that. He was that. just telling us earlier he's got a potty mouth. So, this is, <laughs> no. so now we know where he came from. <laughs> no, I don't have a potty mouth. So, so, uh, so I, did, I started around fourth or fifth grade right. uh, doing wow, some grappling um, and uh, continued all the way into the military. Wow. Yeah. Military. Air Force? Yes. That's, so is Danny. He's, oh, he, good. he's yeah, an Air yeah. Force guy. Nice. He was a mechanic, yeah. right? Yeah. Nice. What did you do? So I was in supply. <clears throat> okay. But uh, Tony Ramos, uh -huh. my instructor, my father-in-law, he was a, a jet engine mechanic. Okay. Kind of uh, C5s. Kind of like C5s. Danny. Yeah. 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 So, folks, he snuck it in there, but he yeah, said... Um, father-in-law. Father-in-law. <laughs> Tony Ramos. <laughs> Well, I got us, you know, to be like... You got him in the door. Now we know why. Yeah. 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 Wait, wait, wait. So did, did you become the successor before or after marrying his daughter? 
Uh, after. <laughs> Wait. Hmm. <laughs> we were, yeah, no, 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 we were, we were married, we were married, we were married first, yeah. Oh, okay. wow. Okay. I love how, that, how I that... love that, dude, you know. Um, <laughs> how, how do you take that? You're my top student. Wait, my daughter? Hold on. <laughs> Did he give you, like, extra hard lessons just because? Oh, uh, um, I, I... <laughs> I went no no no. I went through some stuff, but you know what? It wasn't even so much with him. Really? Um, yeah, it was his. Uh, it was his black belts. You know, some of his black belts of students. They they really put me through it. You know, coming up through the ranks. Right, really? Right? Oh, big time. Because you big were dating time. the boss's daughter. Yeah. Well, it wasn't even. It was that. <laughs> it had something to do it, with it. No, I it, know it, it did. It, it, it was, was kind of that. Yeah. But uh, I think it was more over in the fact that um, they. Um, they saw my burning dedication. Okay. Oh, and they you were, were like, "You were that guy. You, you, you were that you, overachiever." And they were yeah. like, "Oh, this guy's here to take our job." <laughs> well, you know, that's and a it's, good thing. And it well for you. Know, <laughs> yeah, and I mean, I I learned a lot from it, yeah. right. even if it's what not to do. Right. Uh, right? Yeah. You can always learn from somebody. Oh right? yes. Always. Yeah, if it hurt, because that's can what learn he's something. doing with me. He's trying Pretty to push much. me out the door. Yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> you know, with my own brother. <laughs> And it's almost working. I'm, I'm right. waiting. I'm waiting to get them to the point where they fight each other, and then I'll take on whoever's left. <laughs> where, Wait till they get tired out. Exactly. Right? Let them go first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he said it, Danny. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh wait, this is on video. <laughs> he, he's gonna say, "Who let him go to Fairfield?" <laughs> So this is a surprise for us to even be here. Yes, you are not even in our schedule book. Sorry, did sorry to disappoint you. Yes, no, um, I, I, I'm not. I was kind of surprised when you were. Well, here's don't make the thing. Me, don't we, make me tell Dennis that you were uh, PMing during his. <laughs> <laughs> and that's exactly what happened. We we were did we were in the pit. No, he does that no. all the time. Oh, okay. He really does, dude. We're on, we're at the pit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he pops up. And I'm thinking, huh? And then I started seeing the. The stuff that you're, you know, because you, when you shoot your stuff, you have all the gear behind you. you have, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Stores showing up and everything. Yeah. So I get curious. So, of course, while I'm on there, on the chat with, in the pit with, with everybody, I'm on Facebook. David. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, oh, <laughs> he is a martial artist. <laughs> right? And then I saw Tony Ramos. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Tony Ramos. Hey, he's going to next next day. We got to talk to him. <laughs> and here we are. Awesome. He's like a kid at a candy store. He really is. He, yeah. He's like, ooh, I want to talk to this person. I want to talk to this person. We you should know, reach out to it, this person. In, because I would be doing a, a disservice mm. to our community if I don't talk to cool people. We have a community. Wow. I mean, look at, look at this guy. It's wow. Just the bald head and the beard thing going on. Wow. This is cool. <laughs> this kid's, you know, he's doing Filipino Former martial Air arts Force. and he's Italian. You know, that's one thing that, that I don't hear a lot about when the Tony Ramos name comes out in this school in particular is the <coughs> Filipino martial arts part. How yes. did you get into that? Well, I got into it through Tony Ramos. Really? Yeah, and that's why... Um, so, I... <coughs> When I talk to people mm -hmm. in the martial arts, it's so I'm a ved very dedicated and loyal person, right? right. So, um, we'll ask his wife. We later. want, we, he, sugar. <laughs> <laughs> they will, um, one of the things is, is that there's a lot of different uh, martial arts out there and everything. Kaji Kimbo is America's first mixed martial art, right, right. everything. But um, my instructor was very innovative. And he always taught an eclectic version of Kaji Kimbo because that's the way it was taught to him. And this is Tony we're talking about? Yes. Yeah. yes. Okay, because that was one of my questions that I had coming up here. I was thinking Imperato, Gaylord, all these other guys. Yeah. But Tony Ramos stands out because he didn't do the Imperato stuff. I mean, he's got his own total way of... Absolutely. And <clears throat> Absolutely. And do you know why? No. no that's see, that, that's the see, there's a lot of stuff that... You know, comes out. Don't give us the sneaky look. <laughs> the right there. It it's a lot out. of stuff. <laughs> he's through history. So yeah, yeah, he's, he's like yeah. he's trying to tell us in secret. There's a guy. <laughs> no, there's a microphone right there. <laughs> you catching your whispers. So so what so what happened was is so Joseph Imprado uh -huh. was my father-in-law's instructor. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so. He taught differently 
And then later on, see Joe on Prado. Uh, um, uh, he, um, he took over. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm not saying he took over. He was always the, fi- the figure. Right. He was always the face of the thing. Yes, yes. So people <laughs> always wondered why our stuff looked, or our stuff, that Tony's. Tony Ramos is, looked a little bit different, looked right. different than, from the others. But the other thing was is he was very, um, if it didn't work, because he used it in the street. He, right. he, he, and this is in Hawaii. Oh, and on the base. Yes, absolutely. On the base a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah. And his dojo was like two blocks off of the base at one time. <laughs> yes. And um, oh, people, my office. <laughs> people would be flexing, you know, uh, and they would be, they're like, man, if you take that, take that karate stuff to Tony Ramos over there, if you want to go try your stuff out, because these GIs from... Japan and Okinawa. Right. So they come in and, you know, they'd be like, he's like, what are you here for? You go, and they're bringing their belt and they're everything. All right, shut the, lock the door. Boom, and they lock the door and they do the thing. See, that's why he locked the door as soon as he came in. It's, it's automatic. <laughs> and, it's okay, we brought a girl with us. <laughs> right, and and then it was just done, you know, and, yeah. and then it was done. But um, what was happening was then people, because he worked grave shift, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and they would eat like their breakfast or dinner at like three in the morning or two in the morning and they would go in a generalized area that people could get to Mm -hmm. and he'd have people walk up to his table you know and his supervisor would be like tony now you know he's like he's (laughs) like you know you want to hear you want to yeah out there you know and you know just that just that crazy old school stuff that only movies right yeah no uh, and, and that's the same thing with with uh FMA stuff, you know. Yeah. Everybody always wanted to flex their muscles, like you say, and, and throw sticks around and do whatever else and just to see who was going to end up. You know, in the Philippines, they had the, the death duel stuff and bring a lawyer, everybody signs off, yeah. and we're all good. Well, even, even <laughs> more recently, Kakoi, he was yeah. always in fights. No, that was, and he would never yeah. turn down a fight. And no, if his no. students did, they'd get kicked out. Bye. <clears throat> right. 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 And, and um, you know, that's why he would always be, you know, that people would be wanting to do Sinwale or whatever. Mm-hmm. He's like, Ispada, Ispada. He'd be like, yeah. Spar, Spar, you know. Yeah. Uh, but how we came to do with the Filipino martial arts was, our, how I did, was um, he, uh, I, call, I call him a gong, Tony Ramos. So okay. if I say a gong, I'm talking <clears throat> about him. So a gong, he, he, um, he realized the value of the Filipino martial arts. Right. His dad used to do it in sugarcane fields, you know, pineapple fields. They'd watch when he was a kid, but he'd never teach him because he had a bad temper. Mm. So, oh. <laughs> yeah, so he'd never teach him it. Can you he, imagine the lumps on his head? Right? <laughs> so so he, um, he eventually got introduced to Serata. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, and, and I could even do... Maybe some of the set forms, you know, that, that, you right. know, and uh-huh. so my father-in-law Outside had such, one, she yeah. had, he had such vast knowledge of stuff that, that he implemented and st- that it just grew. And so he would assign, so me and one of the other uh, instructors here, uh, Sigong Joe Torado, he was, him and I were responsible for the Serata and the Filipino martial arts. Oh, right. so he assigned different like black belts to yes, go to, out to, there and it, bring me stuff. Well, no, 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 no. He yeah. would learn it himself, but he wanted us to remember it for him, uh, <laughs> right? You know, yeah. to, to be the go-to person, like, yeah. like, right? like, like now. Him. Yeah. So what happened was he ended up taking. Um, uh, he he did that, but he got introduced. He heard about this famous family in the Philippines, uh, Okoy Kanyete the and the Kanyetes. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, Kokoi's brothers were still alive then, you know, so he went, so it was roughly around 85-ish. So around 1987 um, is, no, 85, he brought it back, and it was the foundational. So we did a lot of foundation, but it was mixed with our TRK, right? right? Tony Ramos, Kaji Kimball. So we just did this much of it. So then one day we were at a tournament, Senior Grandmaster Sotelo, Ted Sotelo, we were there, and we... He meets up with them after like 20 years and they're talking. We just start talking story. I met him and immediately we were like brothers. Wow. And he's like, he's like, oh, I do this. And I go, and he goes, I heard you do some knife stuff too. Yeah. And, you know, we're talking back and forth. He goes, well, come to my house. And we went there. And then he goes, you know, I do those pares. And he goes, tell a gong that he 
when he moved in 1987, my father-in-law moved back to Hawaii okay. to retire from civil <clears throat> service. So my wife and I took over the school in, in 87. <clears throat> wow, this been year is our not, yes, this year's our our um, 60th anniversary. Oh, wow. yeah, but uh, you 110. No, 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 no. Our school is 60th. My father-in-law had... I, like the school, uh, dude. Yeah. I know, but it's just like 60 years old. Right. You've been married that long? Right. Yeah. right. Like, How can you be married that I'm long? Like, what the hell's going on? No, but I've been married 30. I was going to say 30? Yeah. He's, so, he's 97. Yeah. He just looks like... Yeah, he's I don't look... Okay. Yeah. Okay, 97. All right. I was close. But, yeah, so so the so the timeline is uh-huh. is... From 1960 to 19, uh, 1960, my father-in-law brought it to L.A., mm. but his job at Travis, you know, he got a job at Travis. Right. So we've been in Fairfield since 62. So, so from yeah. 1962 uh, to 87. Yeah, that's when my, I was born. Right? My father-in-law had the school here. Wow. wow. And then in 87, we took it over. So we've actually <clears throat> had it like, what, like four years longer I've been teaching four years longer. Yeah, so eighty seven he moved he reason. moved back to Hawaii to retire. Civil service. Oh, civil but he, service. He, okay. he did open up a school out of a um gymnasium there. Oh yeah, he had yes. a place out there, right? <laughs> yes he did. Yeah. He did. And I'd well, go there. Uh, to on teach. what island is that? Honolulu or y- yeah, actually um uh Wahiwa. 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 Yeah. Yeah. And Whitmore Gym. Okay. Well, yeah, I know it well because Is it still going on? Is it still no, going on? No. Um, yeah. <clears throat> it's it's since since passed. But he saw the value in it. He went there, mm-hmm. learned the basic fundamentals, and came back. And we did that forever, you know, what it seemed like forever. Right. And then when he found out Kokoi moved to San Jose, half a year. <laughs> and he <laughs> said, he said he gave me direct permission, which is huge, in right. Kaji Kimbo instructors, to train directly under him. Wow. wow. So he got his black uh, in under Kokoi. Uh-huh. And... Um, and then I worked my way up through the ranks for Kokoi all that time, you know, from wow, there. Wow, so and, you learned uh, directly from Kokoi. Oh, yes. He's, a, yeah, he's my stick fighting instructor. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Do you know Sack Winston? I don't. Oh. I might. Maybe if I saw him. He's he, from the East Coast. He's, yeah, he's oh, okay. The, no, yeah, yeah. no. And he, he trained with uh, he, Kokoi. Yeah. Yes, there is, you know, there's a lot of. Yes. And they're scattered. Have you noticed? All like over, they're, they're all yeah. over. You yes. just kind of gravitate to him at one point. It'll stay with a week for him and train and then go back and train his stuff. So, you know, it's you're going to, you know, you talk about regrets or whatever, yeah. or, you know, you know. So, um, Kokori would always be like, dude, he was a beast, man. Yeah. I'm just telling you. Oh, yeah. No, you know, know. <laughs> you, right. You know, yeah. right. But yeah. he's. He's a beast. He was he was a beast. God love him. And, yeah. and even when he dropped half his weight, he was still rah. okay. So <laughs> so you went through our parking lot, right? Yeah, right. Well, our our dojo before this one mm-hmm. was like maybe half of oh, this. Wow. Wow, this. So we would crazy. have forty stick fighting <clears throat> people for seminars. He would come here. He did them outside on the blacktop right. for. Like eight hours straight, a hundred and three wow. degree weather. He would he would have his bucket hat on, and I, insane. Wow. Yeah. And and then ask all of his wow. ukes yeah. <laughs> when he would throw them on the. I'm like, I'm like, uh, senior grandmaster. Let's let's go inside. We'll just do the throw part right here on this. <laughs> He's like, no, there's a mat. <laughs> Dude, I, you know, and I always tell a story that when I was in the Philippines, I fought in turn over there. They did that on cement. Yeah. Cement right? and tape. Yeah. yeah. They, they put right? the tape to make the yeah. square, and you fall on the cement. Yeah. So cement. that's why he's like, what, Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's yeah. Yeah. Yes. What do you mean inside? We stay out here. It's from Cebu, well, right? Yeah. 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 Cebu yeah. City. And, and <clears throat> you know, the thing about him is, um, he, I don't know if you ever heard the story, but, you know, he, uh, th- that was one of the things I was so blessed that, you know, he would come to our school two to three times a year. We're wow. like the only, he, his seminar schedule. Yeah. He'd come, yeah. And he would stay with us, you know, and, and uh, spend the night, you know, at our house. Dang. And Oh, yeah. And, nice. and so I'm a historian through mouth, right? right. Uh.